Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the mighty Metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycle, and look what we have today. This is a another good friend of mine's motorcycle, I've owned this guy for quite a while. He bought this here at Baxter's, and uh, before it ever rolled out the door, he did a whole mess of magic to it. One of his favorite motorcycles, he's got several. This is one he loves to ride, puts a lot of miles on, you can see the bugs on the front. <laughs> so what is it? It's a Royal Enfield 650. Interceptor. It's got a inline twin air-cooled oil cooled. There's the oil cooler uh, Engines all stock except for the pipe. He's got a tech two-to-one stinger pipe These engines put out about 47 horsepower about uh, 39 foot-pounds of uh, Torque, I think that's 53 Newton meters They uh, have about 90% of their torque about 2,000 rpm and up so they get just loads of torque all through the power band They've got this beautiful six-speed transmission just I think it's it's Enfield's probably their best transmission of all the ones I've used. And it's just it works in great harmony with that engine. Just a fabulous thing. The bike has a 55.1 inch wheelbase. I think that's 1,400 millimeters. I can't remember the ground clearance. This would be changed anyway with that pipe. Weight on these things is 440 pounds, maybe 470 pounds. So let's say 200 kilos, a little 205 kilos, something like that. Seat height is supposed to be about 31.5, which is 800 millimeters. Uh, the tires are 18s front and back. Now he's got different tires on it. These are not factory, as you can see, these are Shenko's. They say Trail, Mac, Trail Master on the side. 120, 80, 18 on there. 120, 80, 18 on the front. So about balance. Got the tire on there. He's got this red fender on here. He raised it up just slightly. It'll probably get room for the tire. Nifty headlight covered in bugs. Uh, that's LED. These uh, shorty blinkers on here. These brackets. Those could be Motone. I don't know what brand those are. Um, boots on the forks. The forks on these bikes are uh, 41 millimeter. And I can't remember the uh, travel. I'll put that down below. The disc, I believe, is a 320 millimeter with a dual pod vibrate. It's a floating disc. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. The rear disc is... I think that's a 240 millimeter also with a single pot vibrate. This bike looks like it has YSS. Oh yeah, he was telling me that actually because he's been playing with the springing on that to get it just right. Adjustable for compression, dampening, all that neat stuff. Uh, going back to the front, let's see what else we can spot here. Of course the bags, the end bar end mirrors, the little shorty mirror, the little shorty levers here with adjustability for throw. You can adjust this on the fly while you're going down the road. Just a really neat thing. Check it out. He's got these side covers. I think he had these custom painted. Baxter Cycle sells the side covers, but he had a shop paint the color on them to match this, you know, the black, the white, the red. And then look at those uh, grills in there, just gorgeous. Isn't that just a beautiful scene right there? That pipe, everything like that. This is a skin shift seat cover, I believe. I don't know if he has a different seat on it or not. Of course, the back end has those taillights again, those disappearing taillights. Gorgeous. <laughs> There's a the gauge package up there. Oh, he's got a USB port right here. Dual USB port. wonder how many miles he has on this thing. Yeah, about 1,500 miles on it. Well, he rides. Very nice, very nice. I love the analog gauges. This is one of my favorite bikes to ride. Uh, as a matter of fact, coming soon, I'm going to be riding one of these. I hope they've got one in the shop that I really want to take on a 100-mile ride that they just got in. What do you all think of something like this? This is the kind of thing that uh, Baxter Cycle does on a regular basis. They just they take these bikes and they do so much wonderful work with them. Look at that skid plate on the bottom. Well, I'm sure I'm going to miss things, but uh, just fabulous, fabulous work. I just love it. I love red, so I'm kind of a sucker for that anyway. And it's nice to see a bike like this that's being rid ridden. You know, not just a show bike, one with bugs on it, huh? <laughs> anyway, what a beautiful, beautiful machine. If you're in the market for something like this, a brand new or used Royal Enfield Triumph British bike of any type, vintage, classic, whatever else, if you need accessories for your motorcycle, apparel, things like that, get yourself up here to Baxter Cycle or go to BaxterCycle.com. They can help you out. Now, if the weather's nice where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!